Hello everyone. Advent will soon be upon us and Christmas hot on its tails. And last year I really enjoyed journaling some of these Advent words. Um, you can go to adventword.org and download uh, this graphic. They also send out emails, I think, on each day with a little thought around the word, if that's helpful. Um, I like one word prompts because it gives me a chance to interpret it in my own way and respond to it in the way that I feel God is speaking to me. So this suits me just fine. So I thought I would do the same again this year, um, have a look at some of these and do some journaling around it. A uh, bit of a disclaimer, I am not the kind of person that literally follows this every day doing a piece of journaling for every single word. That is just not realistically going to happen in the build up to Christmas for me. And I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. Just to warn you in advance, I'm not going to be doing every single word. I'm certainly not going to do a video for every single word. What I will do is just pick and choose and do as many as I can. And I invite you to do the same. So um, don't feel like this is a burden for Advent and another thing to do on top of all the busyness of the season. But just see it as an invitation that if you do have a little bit of time, you have got some direction to inspire you. And I've just had this up for a couple of days and just beginning to um, meditate on a few of these words and and just pray and be open to what God wants to show me before we even start. So last year when I did this, I worked in a little junk journal. Um, I've got videos all about that. I can link to them in the description below. You can do that again, work in, in a handmade journal or work in any journal, work in your regular art journal. That is absolutely fine. I was thinking this year that I might work on tags. So I quite, I'm quite enjoying working small at the moment and it's not so intimidating um, to have a smaller space in which to work. And if you're thinking that it's maybe too small, the secret to that is lots of layers. So we, we've we got really as much space as we want, because if we want to do some journaling, we can take up this whole space but, and then we can write over our writing again and again. So we can do as much writing as we want. We can even write on the backs if we want to. But having a smaller space means that I'm not feeling overwhelmed. I can just do a little 15 minute session of sticking some collage on a few words, maybe, or a Bible verse. And that can be my journaling, my Advent journaling for the day. So um, you can buy these tags commercially. I think that they're quite expensive for <laughs> what they are. So I tend to just make them and cut them out of cardboard myself. I just wanted to quickly pop on and say that if you're watching this and it's the weekend after Black Friday, then my online course is currently 20% off if you buy it as a gift voucher. Eight hours of creative joy leading you into a closer relationship with God. What better Christmas present could anyone receive? So head over to my website, jennaburn.com to find out more. So I'm thinking we go for something that is this sort of size. So not too small. It's still giving us some room to be creative. And this size allows me to cut four out of an A4 sheet of card without too much wastage. So I have created for you a little template so that you can print this out onto some card, cut it out and you will have one of these that you can use as a template to draw around. Or to be honest, you could even just print it on the back of the card um, start decorating on the other side and then you can just cut out the tags as per the guidelines. 
so I will um, that will become a bit clearer as we move forward but um, if you find that helpful I'll put the link to download that in the description below. So um, we could just cut out some plain tags you don't you don't have to use craft paper I quite like the brown craft paper um, you can use white card um, you can use cardboard packaging this is something that came in some clothing packaging it's got a kind of gray um, color on the back and a white on this side so you know just use whatever card you like whatever card you have um, I might use a mixture so um, we've got some options and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us a head start by putting a bit of colour and texture onto these pieces of card um, before I cut out the tags. So this is like the equivalent of um, breaking in the blank page that I've talked about before because I don't want to personally I don't want to come to a nice pristine blank tag and feel any intimidation about getting started. Um, I just want to be able to dive in there and get going. So the next thing that we need to think about, if you want to think about it, is what kind of colours and look and feel we want our tags to have. I am thinking about going for a kind of blue, white and red vibe this year. I've been messing around here with some collagey bits. I like the idea of that kind of snowy, wintry, silvery, sparkly kind of look. Um, you can choose whatever colours you like. You can go for, you know, something fairly traditional like uh, red and green or you can do purple or neons whatever floats your boat but it is quite nice for a project like this to have a little kind of color scheme because then you can make yourself a little kit to use just for um, this holiday season so i've done a lot of chatting i am now going to get some layers just a, a start um on these pages um so that uh, I can then cut out the tags and I've got something to get me started. So you can, of course, skip this step and just work with blank tags, but it is a lot of fun. So just grab whatever art supplies you have, whatever makes you happy and just play around on your papers. I'm using four um, bits of cardboard here. I'm starting with some collage. You don't have to do collage if you don't want to. Um, I go on to use paints and inks and stencils. So yeah, whatever supplies you have, just go mad, um, make a mess, have some fun of an evening and, um, you know, scribbles, splatters, anything just to get some marks and some colour down on your tags. Here are uh, the papers. Each one is slightly different, but they're all kind of variations on the theme. Hopefully they will all go together nicely. So the next thing is to actually cut out the tag shapes. So if you're using my printed template, pay attention to these little marks down the bottom which when I've cut it out, I've done as little notches. So probably easiest to do this on the back. And I'm simply going to draw around the template. I realize if you're in the states or other places in the world then 
A4 paper might not be your standard. Um, in which case, you could just fold your paper into four lengthways like that and cut out your tags from there. So I've marked those notches there. I don't know if you can see. Then I'm just going to use a ruler to join the bottom of this indent to the notch at the bottom. So now we're going to cut them out. So you will have this strip left over, which don't throw away. That's actually quite nice collage fodder for um, later on. So keep that in your advent kit, I would. There's something really magical about when you turn over the tags and see the little crops that you have, I think. And they're looking really nice already, especially like this one with this bit of foliage um, stenciled on there and this dark patch here. I just think it's absolutely lovely. So you might want to make a little hole at the top of your tag, which you can just do with a hole punch as best as you can, trying to get it in the centre. It's always a bit hit and miss, something like that. And I can't find them right now, but somewhere I've got those um, circular hole reinforcing stickers as well, which I will probably stick around each of the holes. So here we are. Here is our finished collection of tags. When I say finished, they're only just started, really. But um, this is the kind of stage that we want to get to. I managed to find my hole reinforcers last night and stuck them on. So I have got, um, I've got a few more here as well. I've got 16, I think. So you'll notice I haven't made 25 for every single day of December. Um, because as I said, I'm not putting the pressure on myself that I am going to do this every day. I don't think I will get 16 done in reality. It's probably better to make less because you can always make some more and then, you know, you're not putting yourself under pressure to complete some massive project in the busy holiday season. As well as uh, making your tags, if you're going to use tags, and like I said, you are welcome to journal along with me, but use your art journal instead if you prefer. But I'm going to be doing my advent journaling on these guys. Um, I really recommend, whether you're using the tags or your journal, that you make yourself a little kit for the month. So, um, I am going for this kind of blue silver kind of theme with little bits of reds so I've just gone through my supplies um, I found some silver paint I've got some white pens I've got uh, a blue ink tense pencil and a blue neo color um, crayon there I've got some white ink I've got a glue stick so just gathering a few supplies in your colour scheme. And then, of course, we want some collage papers. Not too many. I've got the offcuts from the tags here. I've got quite a nice dark blue here. I might go and find that paint as well. Um, it's good in your collage if you can have a few darks as well as lights. So just have a little think about value. But don't, you know, you don't need huge pieces and you don't need a lot because these are tiny um, and a little will go a long way. I've also got um, an envelope, security envelope there, um, which I might use as some kind of window or pocket or something. Maybe let's just... Just gather a few little bits and pieces to inspire you 
Um, I've also got some fabrics and threads here, some washi tape that I found that's got blue and gold in there as well. Not sure whether I'm going with the gold, probably end up doing gold and silver. Um, got the darker red that I'd quite like to introduce. And of course, um, eventually we're going to need something to go through our holes at the top of the tags. So little bits of lace and ribbon, if you've got things like that. Um, you might even find that you end up with some Christmas presents wrapped up in ribbons. You can save all those and uh, use those. You don't necessarily need to do these um, in December. We could add these at the end. So what is it going to look like at the end, you may ask. So just to give you a little glimpse into the future, um, once we have decorated each tag with a, a word and a thought, um, then when we've completed the project, we I will do a video showing you how to turn these into some sort of little book. I know these aren't tags, they're just squares, um, but it will probably involve some sort of piece of strip of material um, or ribbon to join them all together. Probably not exactly like this, but there will be some sort of joining. So again, if you find a nice, a nice fat ribbon for, um, the, you know, as part of your Christmas wrapping on Christmas Day, then hang on to it because something like that would probably be ideal for joining your tags together at the end. It will all come together. You'll just have to trust me a bit <laughs> on that. So um, I'm going to put all these in a folder. So I've got my kit. I like these zip folders, but you can use any sort of container, a shoe box or a, um, a box of any kind, really. So I'll put all these in here along with my sheet of words. So basically, I've got a little advent kit that is inspiring, not too overwhelming, and most importantly, all ready and raring to go any time I have 10 minutes or so for making some art because that's all we're going to get isn't it realistically we're just going to get little snippets of time throughout the day um, in order to take a moment to focus on God and create something. I hope that's got you inspired. Please don't feel overwhelmed by what I've done in this video. Um, you can use blank tags. You don't have to decorate them. You don't have to use tags at all. You can use your journal if you want to, and you can still play along with me. So I hope you will join me. Um, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, which means hitting the subscribe button down below. And also you should be able to see a little bell, very important that you hit that and then you'll, that hopefully that will make sure that every Advent video will come up in your feed and you won't have to search for it. So thank you for joining me and um, have a good week or so and we will kick off on, at, on the 1st of December, hopefully, if I can get my act together. I will see you then.